Robert Free Bloom, what is your view of the current strikes that have been threatened and indeed scheduled uh, by nurses and the RMT Rail Union? The nurses on the 15th and 10th of December and uh, the RMT, both sides of Christmas. Well, it's fascinating, isn't it? Just leaving the rail strike aside for a moment, because that comes and goes. And I'm I'm an old geezer now. I'm 73. Uh, I grew up with rail strikes. That's nothing new to me. Uh, but what is interesting is the nurses. Now, the Royal College of Nurses, who should be sticking out for nurses, aren't doing so. What they're saying is we want more money, more money, more bills, uh, uh, more money and all this kind of thing. Uh, but what they're not saying, what the Royal College of Nurses are saying, there are uh, 1.2 million people employed by, by the NHS, less than half of whom now have any medical qualification. We have diversity officers. We have all sorts of administrators who are paid more than nurses. What the Royal College of Nursing should be saying to the government is, can you sack at least 400,000 of these freeloaders, get rid of them, and there'll be a lot more money for nurses and doctors and new hospitals that we need. But they're not saying that, just saying, gimme, 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 gimme. And most of the money that goes to the NHS is unaudited. We don't know where it goes. It disappears. It's getting worse and worse and worse. And this going back to reform again, Mark, is what um, perhaps uh, Richard Tice and reform should be saying. Let's start sacking, massively sacking the people in the National Health Service who don't actually treat patients. They're sort of saying that. They're sort of saying that. But it's not definitive. It's not loud enough. Uh, well, I'm delighted.